There is a better way. There's two things you need to know about the British economy. The first is that governments have borrowed money and there's an 800 billion pound national debt. But the second is that Britain became very rich. There's a lot of private wealth and the bulk of that is with the top 10%. Remember the bonuses? Well, a lot of those went on houses like these. So the richest six million people have got 4,000 billion pounds in private wealth. That's four million pounds per household. It's mostly in property, pensions, jewelry, antiques, things like that. Now just one fifth of that would pay off the whole national debt. So what I propose is a one-off tax on the wealthiest. And the beauty of the plan is they don't have to pay the tax straight away. They can pay it when they die and in the meantime just pay the interest on what they owe. As long as it goes off the government books then there's no need for the cuts in education, policing and all the rest of it. The unemployment goes down and the economy keeps growing. And this scheme would be really popular. We tested it with a YouGov poll and 74% of the population wanted it. Only 10% were against and the rich were slightly more in favour than the poor. So let's do it. There is a better way. We firmly believe that the cuts in the public sector will have an adverse impact on our members uh, throughout the retail sector. Um, if there's cuts in public spending, then that could impact on schools, hospitals, uh, social housing, etc. And that will have an adverse impact on all our members. We also believe that the cuts are too quick, they're too deep. The cuts are going to reduce the whole economy uh, within the UK. It could put us into a double dip recession. That will mean that there will be less money uh, going circulating throughout the economy and that means that the sales will be down and that will have an adverse impact on our members. There is a better way. I'm talking about carers. Um, you know, there's a great amount of talk about getting them into work. They are actually working full time. They're caring for disabled relatives. They're caring for young children. And we as a society benefit from that. Um, and this whole agenda has missed this group and we want to provide, we want a welfare system that actually provides those people with adequate support to enable them to do that job which is of value to us all. There is a better way. Well obviously we've just seen the coalition government really supporting everything that the Brown Review has come out with. Um, it's deeply concerning that the Brown is saying he wants to move the burden of paying for higher education from the state to the student. Uh, you know, UCU is absolutely opposed to that. Lecturers in Scotland are already um, experiencing universities gearing up for the cuts agenda. We're already seeing jobs being lost, uh, both on a voluntary basis and compulsory redundancies uh, in universities in Scotland. Uh, that's really damaging to the learning environment, to the morale um, of our members, uh, but also to the learning experience that students are, are getting in universities in Scotland. There has to be a better way than the £8 billion worth of cuts proposed in Osborne's budget, 5.8 billion of which come out of women's purses. Now there has to be a better way than that. There is a better way. Well we've had the emergency budget in June and we await what the uh, 
comprehensive spending review in October will tell us, but already we are seeing in Scotland uh, local authorities, health service organisations, the police service are bringing forward packages of, of cuts which will hit us in terms of jobs, but perhaps more importantly are going to have a devastating effect on many of the communities across Scotland. All over Scotland we've seen public services being pulled back, less money being spent on pupils' education, less money in our health service, and it's the people of Scotland who will suffer. And today, more than anything, we're getting over our message that it's not about just saving jobs, it's not about our members' uh, pensions, pay, it's also the public services of Scotland, it's a health service, it's a welfare, welfare state, it's how we care for our elderly. And hopefully, hopefully from today, we'll build a massive alliance. There is a better way. Govan Law Centre fully endorses the STUC's campaign. We believe that there should be a living wage. We believe that history shows us that you need a fiscal stimulus in times like this. And if you don't have that, and if you have the UK government's uh, proposed cuts to welfare benefits and the public sector, what you're going to basically do is force Scotland into even deeper recession and cause untold misery. There is a better way. We have concerns regarding cutbacks in public services because this is not just about the public sector. There are many private sector contracts and projects that emanate from the public sector in terms of manufacturing, construction, transport and the myth that the private sector can take up these jobs I think is really highly questionable. Unite supports the better way because we believe that a living wage, fair taxation and investing in jobs is the way forward for Scotland's economy, is the way forward for jobs. We are about uniting against the cuts. We are about unite for jobs. There is a better way. Cameron and Clegg's cuts are too deep and too fast and they are not necessary. They threaten our fragile economic recovery and in Scotland alone they threaten to destroy 100,000 jobs over the next few years. Unemployment in Scotland is already higher uh, than most other parts of the United Kingdom. There has never been a more important time to get the message out that there is a better way. And there is a better way. That is why I have committed Scottish Labour to introducing a Scottish living wage, a wage of at least £7.15 an hour for every public sector worker and for workers in the private sector through procurement of public sector contracts. The Scottish living wage is a way of making sure that those who find it hardest to make ends meet, those at the lower end of the pay scales, are not the ones who pay the highest price for a situation that they had no part in creating. There is a better way. Well, I think for Dumfries, given that it is such a huge rural area, um, any cuts that happen within Dumfries will have significant impacts on the community. Um, and also for us as trade unionists, we'll be um, involved at some stage in whatever cuts come through as part of the consultation process. But as a taxpayer of Dumfries and Galloway, I'm extremely concerned that whatever services through the budgets have to either diminish or reduce once they leave Dumfries and Galloway Council or once they leave the community, they'll never come back. And that's something that the taxpayers in Dumfries and Galloway need to be made aware of. There is a better way. We certainly believe there are other revenue raising opportunities and one major area that Oxfam is pursuing here and overseas is the Robin Hood tax, the financial transaction taxation system, where tiny, tiny tax on international financial transactions could raise millions of pounds. We see that being the money raised, being spent overseas, particularly for climate change adaptation measures, but also being spent here in the UK to help welfare services to, to bring about about the strong services to really support the most vulnerable people in our society who are being most affected. But then again, let's remember they're the ones who are least responsible for the financial crisis that we find ourselves in. Great.